Josh Pastner, coach, if you could open up the statement. Yeah, uh, you got to give, uh, give Clemson credit. Uh, uh, great win for them. Um, and then, uh, you know, I thought it was a well played game by both teams. Uh, it's life in the ACC where you just, you know, this is the first time this has happened to, to us in two years here in the ACC where I thought we played well and, and lost the game. And, and that's kind of what happened. We, we played well for the most part. And, um, you know, I thought what, what hurt us was two things. We, were, we had that lead in the first half, and we just, that's kind of been one of our things this year. We haven't been able just to bury a team. Part of that is just youth and, and, and understanding of that. And then the second thing is, is that start of the second half. You know, Thomas got a couple buckets on Ben, and then we, we were, got a little cold there, and, um, and that was the difference in the game. But, uh, you know, the reason we had a um, chance to, to win the game or tie the game um, was because we took care of the ball for the most part. We only had nine turnovers, three the first half, uh, six the second half. And, um, you know, Brandon Alston had a great look in the corner there, and then Josh had a look at the, at the, uh, at the layup there. Um, you know, I didn't have any timeouts. I usually like to have one late, but I used one when Ben got fouled. He was a little tired, and I called a 30 to give him a chance to catch his breath to make the free throws. And obviously that didn't work out since he missed the front end of the one and one but um, you know, bottom line is, is it was a well-played game by both teams, and obviously, um, you know, Clemson, Clemson came out on top. Yet another four-point play right before the half. I mean, another momentum killer, kind of a game changer. That's got to be head scratching at this point. Yeah, no, and that's you know, Curtis Haywood. I mean, he's, he's a freshman, and he's, he's got to know better. It's second, it's back-to-back games now. I will say, last game versus versus Florida State, um, even though they called a four-point play, the the league did send us a note saying that it was should have been an offensive foul on Florida State, and they used that they used that uh, clip for training video for the rest of the officials. But obviously, the amount of sleep I lost, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, <laughs> there's no consolation on that. So, um, but that being said, that's our third four-point play in the in, in the last four games. We've had three games where we've had a four-point play, and it's just and they've all been in key situations end of halves, and um, it's just, it's been frustrating and aggravating, and part of that is youth, and just, we gotta get tougher, you know, there's some areas we gotta get tougher, but that's part of where we're at in, in the program, is, is you know, as we as we continue to, to build and, and, and move forward, and, and in the rebuild, that we've gotta, that's part of what we gotta do is get tougher, and in this league, you gotta be tough, and, um, but, uh, but, you know, I thought, Again, I thought AD played well for us. He was six of nine in the first half, and he was only hit only one field goal in the second half. It was one for five. Um, you know, Ben had a couple great looks right there at, at the top of the key. That's his that's his sweet spot. And he missed a couple that were that were tough for us. But you know, bottom line is I, I felt overall we, we played well and um, just you know came up short end. You got another game from Josh tonight. Did you expect from him as you know sort of your your leader offensively and defensively? Yeah, you know, the one thing with him is like that one last play where he got fouled and, you know, and he got to the free throw line to tie it up. He, um, he, uh, uh, he just willed, our, our, he willed us to get to the free throw line. He threw a great pass to Josh, or excuse me, to Brandon, who had a great look. And then him keeping up with the offensive glass there, his, his effort and his motor, it was just, a, it was just an internal will to, to find a way. And, um, you know, proud of him for that. Uh, that last play, Reed, you know, I, I was AD and Ben were right there to block the shot. You know, when they got the ball to score to go up, and um, um, they didn't make a sh block attempt. I would like for them they should have had a chance to block it. But that being said, um, you know, I, Josh had a great drive uh, late, and he was at the rim. He just missed it. Tyler's got to be better. Seems like he has not played well the last few games for you. Todrick's a phenomenal young man, and I, he's a sweet young man, and I love him dearly. And um, he's a tremendous human being, and he's a good person, and he's got to be better on the floor. No, I thought, you know, obviously uh, we, we dropped some games uh, early that, that obviously hurt us. But um, I would also say that uh, um, I, I had told everybody, I told my bosses, I told 
anyone that would hear me, that would listen to me, I've said it from all along. And even, and, and Todd Stansberry and I talked about this even in the summer and in the fall, that year, this was going to be the hardest year of, of the entire, as I call a rebuild. And why is because I knew that we were losing the three seniors and who were 23 years of age, and Quentin, Josh, and Corey. And then the second part is Ben had played, you know, Ben was at such a level last year that, you know, there was no sneak. He didn't play as freshman and sophomore year, so he wasn't going to sneak up on anybody. And so uh, I knew the youth coming into this season, and, um, and, and I just knew this was going to be a hard year. Now, maybe how it got to be hard, you know, there was different reasons, um, obviously, but either way, I knew this was going to be the hardest year. And um, so, uh, you know, would I like to have more wins, of course, and should we have a couple more wins? Absolutely. But uh, regardless, this year was going to be the hardest year, as I, as I personally felt. Now, I say that, and that means, you know, there's still a lot of games left, but also that means next year's and the year after has got to be much better than it is this year to this point, you know, out for this one individual season. But, um, uh, but we still got a lot of games left, and we've gotten better. Like, we really played well tonight. We executed well. We just, this is the ACC. And we're relying on Jose Alvarado for 40 minutes, basically, as a freshman point guard. And, I, and Jose's going to be a great player for us. But you got to remember now, he wasn't McDonald's All-American. He wasn't, one of, you know, the number was going to be a first-round draft pick after his freshman year. I mean, he wasn't even a top 100 kid. And so, but I loved his toughness is why we wanted him. And he's... He's going to be a great four-year player for us, and we're committed to him. And, and, and so him being in the fire, all this stuff's going to be really good for him in the long term. And, and I think AD has just gotten better and better and better. So, um, um, you know, we'll just keep getting at it. Josh is – obviously Josh had an injury earlier, and, you know, we need Curtis Haywood is going to be a good player. He hasn't been himself since the injury, and he was playing at a high level, and then he got injured, and so it's just – you know, we're just we're young in a lot of areas that we're counting on guys to produce for us. There was a stretch, uh, two possessions in a row. Um, Jose lost the ball, and Josh lost the ball. You know, pick sixes that seemed to like it gave them the, the cushion they needed in the rest of the game. Yeah, no, those pick sixes kind of just had fitness in the butt, you know. And um, um, you know, as as well as we did take care of the ball, those are two big turnovers because it's back to back, and they were both pick sixes and. Um, um, but like Jose made that pass, and you know that's just again those are things that he's going to have to continue to improve on. Now he, was, he did a much better job of not bringing, not picking the ball up early for the game and kept his dribble alive. And the other thing is, is he still had a bad shot where he said he'll go in there and try to go against the trees instead of making the right play. But you know he's tough, and there's just you're going to as tough as he is, you're going to live with some mistakes along the way. Um, but those two back-to-back -back turnovers were. Obviously, we're, we're a key point. That was a big four-point swing. You've talked throughout the year about the one maybe the defensive flaw was stopping the dribble going to the basket. Yep. And well, we 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 got we've been so good from three-point range. And let me tell you this: I, I really like this team, our team. We, we we're we're getting better. I just I know it doesn't show maybe on the on the scoreboard, and I understand that's what we're judged by. But but I'm just telling you, we we're we're getting better. Individual guys are getting better. Um, I see the big picture. I have a clear vision of how we need to get to where we need to get to, and it's going to happen. It's just, you know, we've had some bumps in the road this year. There's no question about that. But we're going to get better and continue to improve. And defensively, we've been really good from guarding the three. And, man, the kid tonight, DeVoe, just hit some great three-point shots. I mean, they were deep. You got hand in their face. And, and that was, you know, they were 7 of 13 in the first half, and then the kid, Shelton, hits all those threes. And, you know, so that was the, that was a big difference in the game there. He, went, for Coach Pastor. he used a little double post in the game, and yeah. it seemed like Ben did a nice job of actually finding AD and creating some offense there. Those two played well off of each other, and right now AD's become one of our best, if not our best, you know, scorer at times throwing him the ball. He's got such a pretty jump hook, so we got to keep doing that. And then Ben's going to get open opportunities of shooting. He's just, you know, he's got to make them. Those are from the sweet spot there. Coach, they didn't score a two-point field goal until six minutes and 43 seconds left in the first half. How proud are you as far as defensively and how they make the drive? Well, we, we've guarded. It's just they hit some crazy threes. And we came in as, you know, we were the best in the ACC at three-point defense. And they just hit, you got to give them credit, they hit deep threes and hand-in-their-face threes and that bit us in the butt. Anything else? 